So, we're back in uh, in Livonia, and we are on the Karma Crew server again. So, we do not have a map. It is a fairly early morning. Not in-game, but uh, actually I don't know if it's morning or... No idea. But uh, in real, it's pretty early morning, so... That, I mean, there is a good amount of players. I think there was like 30 players online, which is kind of a lot for 7 a.m. Yeah, it's 7 a.m. <laughs> so, but I think it's probably the Americans playing. Um, I would say. So the good thing is, when the Europeans are going to bed, well, the Americans are coming online. So there is not a whole lot of dead periods on the Karma Crew servers. Because I think both Europeans and Americans are using it. But yeah, I of course have no idea where we are. We, um, we do have a map, but I can't tell from this where we are. I have no idea. We need to aim for a city and hopefully go south. So, yeah, this is probably the wrong way because... No, it's the right way because... I don't know, it's, is the sun going down or up? I don't know. I don't... Did I get him on me? Do we have a town now? I think there is a town over there. Let's aim for that town because... Yeah, we need to find a city sign or something like that. Alright, let's see what city it is. It is Brenna. Let's uh, let's go into the bush here. Let's just check up on where we are. Let's see. Brenna. Oh, okay. Brenna is right there. Okay, so we're probably coming in from the north. Moving into the south area. Okay. But yeah, I, I don't need to use this because I do have the map open on my other screen. So I'll, I'll, I'm not going to use this. I just want to see it here. But yeah, Brenna. All right. Move it in here. I can just throw it away, actually, because I don't need it. But I'll just keep it for now. Maybe I'll show you guys where we are sometimes. I don't know. But yeah, Brenna. Let's, uh, let's get in there and uh, see what we can find. Now well, we got a cooking pot. I'm actually going to pick it up. I think we can actually have water in it. So, uh, is there anything in it? Mm, doesn't look like it. But yeah, still a pretty good pickup because you can definitely carry water in it. You can carry other stuff in it. Oh, we got a chicken. I'll definitely pick that one up as well. We got a sickle. A good find. Can actually have it in our uh, inventory, so I'll just put it on me. Wow, that's a good find, a stab vest. Holy moly. Oh, even better, a hatchet. I'll throw away the sickle and take the hatchet instead. Hockey helmet, a damaged hockey helmet. <laughs> that's terrible. Ah, I think we're nearing the city center now. Oh, what is this, a hoodie? Uh, I do have a raincoat on me. I think raincoat is, uh, well, it's bad at insulated, but it does help out a lot with the uh, wetness. Or it's harder to get wet. I don't think insulation is actually that important on this map. Oh, a water bottle. That's pretty good. We actually don't need the uh, cooking pot instead now. Or we don't need that, actually. But I'll, I'll keep it around because we might be able... Oh, okay. That is a, a Sega. Sega 9 carbine. Interesting. Not ex and we even, got, we even got a map for it with 10 bullets in it. Interesting. It looks like an AK, but... Or actually, I don't... It looks a little bit like an AK. What is it saying? I don't think this is something you can find on vanilla servers. Civilian rifle firing a semi-automatic only. Uses whatever that name is. Magazine. Chambered in... So it's it using 19 millimeters. So it's not... I mean... It's not very... It's not very heavy. But hey, it's definitely a good find here to begin with, I think. We got one more chicken. There is the police station. Alright, let's get into the PD. It's right behind this wall. I don't think there is anyone here. Except from just zombies. Ooh, what is this? A PPSH. Is that a... It's a submachine gun using an open bolt. Low back action. Made lastly in stamped steel. Huh. Well, I'm gonna take it for now because it seems like it does have a drum roll with it, so... What would, what bull is this you're using? 7.62, 25mm. Hmm, interesting. An MP5. Got 8 bullets. Um, 
45 rounds, 45 ACP rounds. I don't know if that is actually better, um, but I think I'll take it instead of the other one. That's, uh, this seems like a very old kind of gun, and then MP5 seems like a UMP45 seems like a very new model. It also seems to have a, uh, a scope to it. Not that I know if that scope is going to be any good for us. Um, I actually threw, threw away my raincoat here, and I, I need to pick it up, but let's just check out this gun here. Yeah, okay, but it's very broken, but still pretty good. Got a shotgun with some ammo, apparently, next to it. <laughs> um, let's pick it up and see if it got any ammo, actually. It does have one. Uh, I don't know if I want to run around with all of all of these three guns. Since this is pristine, I probably want to keep that. Um, but I do like the UMP as well, so I think I'll um, I'll actually leave, leave the shotgun. Also because we don't we don't really have a lot of sh shotgun ammo or anything, so yeah, I don't think it's worth uh, picking it up right now. Oh, there's a dead player here, just outside the police station. Interesting. Pick up some of his stuff. Got a scorpion damaged. Seems he... I don't know if he died from zombies or what happened, but he do have a bad EMP on round 33 here, but again, don't think I'm gonna pick that up. Got a damaged C set 75, but I do maybe think we have a... No, that was Scorpion. We had Scorpion magazines. We do have... Um, I think I'll take it. Uh, do, does it have anything? No, nothing in it, but I will take it because we can carry it fairly easily in our backpack here. Oh, I located the well. It's right out there. This is very optimistic. <laughs> wow. Surprised he doesn't hear us or see us or anything. That's interesting. I believe the well is there, but more importantly, I believe there is a medical facility down this road what I'm kind of aiming for, and that's also leading us to the river, I believe. Hmm, there are zombies inside. I have a feeling someone was here. Too many things in my inventory already. No surprise to anyone, I doubt. There was absolutely nothing in here except from this gas builder. So I think it was looted. Good to know. Good to know. Root machete? Hmm. Might be better than this knife we have here. But it's also a little bit bigger, but we can probably find space for it. Oh, look at that. Paris wheel. That's a new one. Never seen that before. Oh, we got a scope in here? Wow. I don't know what it's used for. 20x magnify. Wow, that's a big one. Definitely want that. Ooh, I heard a shot. I'm sitting in the last house here in Brenna. Just, you know, doing some management. But the first shot, first shot near us. Well, it wasn't actually that near us, but um, yeah. Somewhere. Well, I think the sun is actually going down. I, um, yeah. The sun is actually going down instead of up, unfortunately. Ooh. I wonder what that was. Probably a crash of sorts. Like a plane crash. It sounded like a plane crash or something like that big. Alright, so I believe that the sun is going down, so it's going to become dark very soon. We do have a flare, which I think that's going to be fine, because I believe on this server it's only dark for like maybe 20 minutes or something like that. 
Um, but this direction over here, I believe there is a military base, um, uh, and, and the forest could be helpful right now. Uh, we do have enough food, we have a can tuna, a bit of cola, and uh, six uh, breast chickens, um, chicken breast in, in, the, um, in the cooking pot, so I think we can... We can sort of move on here. Um, I'm wondering if I should just throw this, actually. I don't think I'll ever use it. Um, and it, it does fill up my inventory quite a bit, because we do have two, 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 uh, especially this one. I'm probably going to use that as a pistol uh, instead of... Does it does have a um, silencer. Yes, we can suppress it with a plastic bottle or something like that. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna need the handgun, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should just keep it for now. Maybe I should just keep it for now. Throw away the bones, don't need them anymore. I have already made a bone knife. But yeah, it's uh, becoming dark and we're moving to the other side of the river and into the forest. We might make a fire or maybe I'll wait. I haven't really decided on that yet. Alright, that's the crossing. Uh, unfortunately, of course, our cloth is wet, but uh, I think I'm just gonna move into the forest and maybe make a fire and, you know. Oh, I think I spotted where we are going. I didn't, I didn't make a fire because the sun is not completely down yet, so I thought maybe we'll do it down here instead, inside the houses so we can, you know. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what we do. But uh, we're definitely moving in on this uh, kind of... And I think it's... I think there is some military things here, or maybe police. I'm not too sure about it. it yeah, I'm not too sure what this is. Industrial buildings, or... I mean, there is a tank over there, or... Some armored vehicle. An assault backpack. Pretty good. I actually just wished it out for another one, but uh, yeah, sure. I'll take it. Um, Again... I'm not sure if it's worth picking up every single thing in the game, but having a bit more backspace in, in something like this, I feel like that's probably a pretty good idea compared to the other ones. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure about it. This place also seems looted or half looted. Gun cleaning, I think I'll take it. Oh, we got a gun. It's another MP5. Um, MP5K. This one is MP5 45, uh, UMP45. Interesting, so there is a difference. Also using 19 millimeters. Hmm. That's that's very interesting. I I, um, I, I don't think we're going to pick that one up. Got a pristine Glock. I think we're going to pick that instead of the uh, this one. We could also just take the magazine and keep the other one, but this is damaged. This is pristine. Yeah, definitely just picking that one up. Throwing the other one. A PP91 Carter, and I do have um, I do have a magazine for it actually, uh, with a lot of bullets as well in the other magazine, so it might be worth picking up. Um, but I'm wondering, is that the same size as? Nah, it's not. It's not the same size. It's one of the. Um, so we either drop the UMP or the carbine. I don't. I don't think this carbine. I'm. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of it, but. The UMP, I could pick this one up instead. I don't, I'm not sure. It's like a sidearm, yeah. Often used as a sidearm. Uh, I think I'm gonna, you know, not take it. And um, I'm actually gonna throw away the the max and stuff here. Because I don't think... Because, nah, I'm not gonna leave it right next to this one. But um, I'm gonna throw it away. Got a combat helmet. There we go. Instead of this winter coif. It's also soaked. So might help us out. Another one of these PDR on PP91. Hmm, found a pistol suppressor. That might be good. It's badly damaged, but it's better than nothing, I would say. That's a new one. Oh. I hear someone. coming in here. At some point he's gonna come in here.
Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. I got so much adrenaline pumping right now. I need to relax. Wow, couldn't hit it. Incredible. See what he got. Ah, uh, well, that's very helpful. Wandering around with a lot of food on him. Um, I'm actually gonna. Yeah, let's pick up my um, my backpack down here. I just dropped it because yeah, I, f I feel like I might be able to move a little bit easier without it. But I can definitely swap this out. Just get rid of this because yeah, we'll take his food. I'm even gonna throw this one away as well. Oh, my, 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 my adrenaline was pumping so hard. It's probably one of those times where my adrenaline was just pumping the hardest. So I don't know if he actually hit me. I was like... Yeah. Yeah, that was a... Oh, he actually had a shotgun and he... If he had hit me, I probably would be dead. I would probably be dead. But apparently he didn't know I was in here. Even with me, you know... Yeah. Because I didn't have any bullets in my chamber, that's why I did it, so... Um... The UMP is actually very badly damaged. I, I know I shouldn't be around this place when I just killed the guy, but... I don't think if... I don't think anyone's coming if they didn't come now. Um. So, I'm just gonna take the backpack and move out a little bit here. Don't wanna sit in this spot. I wanna go into the forest and do the rest of the uh, equipment stuff. I wanna come back here, I think, uh, to loot the rest of this area, but for now I just wanna get into the forest. Or at least just a little bit away from that spot. Alright, so I'm just laying out here and it's actually becoming light outside again now, so it doesn't take more than 20 minutes to become light, but yeah, I actually took his backpack because Looks like it's just bigger, and it also looks smaller anyway, so I'm actually gonna take the trigger bag instead. And uh, we got all of his stuff, which is nice. Also a lot of... Uh, also made a, I made a suppressed kind of thing here for the uh, UMP. Not sure if that's actually worth it, but I did it anyway. Um, we have a new combat knife. Lots of good stuff, actually. He had, he had quite a few stuff here. Also the, um, you know, the uh, all of this is very, very good to get. All the food as well. We got a fishing rod if we need to, you know, fish later on. So that was very, very good. He was probably a good player. The way that he had his things, I think he'd, he was probably a good player that we took by surprise and got a little bit lucky, <laughs> I think. But yeah, we, we do have 14 bullets uh, in one of them and we do have 11 bullets in the other one. So we are, I mean, we can definitely take another fight, I think. But um, yeah, not bad. I think we can move on now. Ah, uh, we're leaving the outpost area. And, um, yeah, there should be another outpost in this general direction. Not a big one, just a small one, I think. But, uh, we, we'll go there and check out that loot as well, and then we'll move further south. Yeah, it looks like a couple of containers and stuff, but this was actually not the main area I was looking for, but, yeah, we'll check it out. Got another PP-91. It does have bullets. It's pristine. Um, I don't know. Uh, it, it's hard to tell if it's better than the UMP. Uh, I don't think it's better than the UMP, actually, but it's probably better than the Saiga Carbine, but... Well, actually, no, I don't believe that. Actually, this Glock is... I don't have any bullets for it. 
I wonder if it can take a suppressor of this type. Um, I don't know, but uh, let's just throw the Glock here and uh, let's see if we want this, if it can take the suppressor. It does! Okay, I'll take it then, because it does have bullets. What kind of uh, 380? 380. We do even have bullets for it, so that's perfect. We can actually swap that out completely for the Glock instead now. There we go. Full loaded PDR Mac. That should work really well for us. Kill a lot of zombies with it. Um, at least that's my thinking. Um, so yeah, we're gonna leave the Glock behind because this is definitely a much better thing because we got all the bullets for it. Oh, this might be the area I was looking for before. Don't know what it is, but I'll check it out. It's just this one building, nothing else, but... I don't know what's in here. There are zombies around, so that could be loot. We also have a stove. Hmm. Not that I need that right now. We have plenty of food. And water. We're pretty good, actually. We just need better things. Better equipment, basically. Oh, I heard shots from where we came from. Or, nah, that was probably more down towards Brenna. We're actually not that far from Brenna. The where we started. Well... There's not really anything in there. So, uh, I think we're gonna move along, and I'm not... I think there is something more down here. Hmm. I can't tell. can't tell if that is what I'm looking for, but it might be that over there. Yeah, it probably is. Just a question of how do we get there, right? Don't really want to run around out in the open. Oh, I think what I was looking for is actually up there. I went the wrong way, but I'm okay with that. I think there is a small city in this direction, so why not? Let's just run that direction. Yeah, a small city down here. Well, it actually looks bigger than I thought it was, but it's kind of open right here. That's why I'm running. I'm actually not too sure what city this is, but I think it is called potentially Sabatisco. It could also be Borek, but I'm not too sure. I'm just saying, you know... Looking at stuff, see if I can see anyone, but so far nothing. Alright, so I got to one of the big buildings, just, you know, sitting looking about uh, and see if I can see anyone. Not that I would probably shoot from here, because both of my um, weapons are pretty close range. Not very high caliber either, so that's probably what we're looking for um, in the future. Potentially a, um, yeah, a sniper or something like that, so we can actually take people out from range, because, yeah, w most of my, my fights are actually close range, but it would be nice to get something that is a little bit further than that. But we'll see what we find. I don't, I'm not even sure about where we are, specifically. Um, I don't know if this is the city of Borek or Zapadinsko, but, uh, I, yeah, I hope to find out somehow. Ooh, we got a fire station. I should be able to find that fire station on my map, because I still don't know exactly where I am. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it. I think it is Borek. I think the city of Borek, but I'm not too sure about it. I don't really... Yeah, I'm, I don't know, but we'll check it out. There's absolutely no loot in here. So either someone looted it and closed all the doors, or there's just no loot in this place. Got a city sign over here. It's Tarnov. What the hell? I'm not where I thought I was at all. Yeah, wow. I moved completely in the wrong direction here. That's interesting. I'm not even sure what, which part of the city I'm in here. But that is going out of the city. So, yeah. Well, in any case, we're going out of the city. Because I can't really figure it out on the map. For some reason, it's very hard to figure out for me. I really don't hope I'm going north here, but I do have the sun over here, which is east, so this should be south. Oh no, I'm completely wrong. Am I not? Oh, I'm so con I'm so confused right now. I am so confused. I have just no idea where. I, I mean, I'm near Tano, but I don't know what direction I'm going in here. It's so confusing right now. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. This, this is the wrong way. Wait, but why is... I can't even see the sun anymore. But we moved to the north. Oh man, I don't. I have no idea where I am. I have no idea where I am, but I know I moved the wrong way, that's for sure. I, I've moved the wrong way for quite a while now. That's annoying. It's very, very annoying. Alright, so we got the train track right here, and this should be directly south. Or very close to directly south. If you just keep moving in that direction, but yeah, I wasted a lot of time here, unfortunately. Um, it was not my plan moving to uh, Tarnov. Not at all. Not at all, but yeah, here we are. Just get to this tree line and move south, because... Um, yeah, that was a waste of time. Alright, I'm moving over a field here, and I believe that is the end of Tarno. Hopefully. Because, yeah, so hopefully this is south, or close to going south right now. Oh, god dang. Where are we, man? Now there is a city again. I have no idea. I, it must be Tarnov still. I just don't. Uh, I just don't know. There is a small church out there in the distance, or something like that. And that's kind of the direction I want to aim for because I think this is still Tarnov. It must be the end of Tarnov right here. Maybe it's Burek over there. Uh, nah, it's too close. It's too close. But uh, I'm gonna move up there and see what that is. Yeah, it does look like a church of sorts. It is. Lots of zombies outside. I mean, I should be able to find this on the map somewhere, but... I need to get in there first because I don't want to sit out in the open. Let's see if it's open right here. No, not even a door. I'm not sure we can actually get in there. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's move a little bit away from this. But I should be able to find this on the map. I hope so, at least. Alright, so that is Tarnov, the end of Tarnov right there. And that is the road going south, I think. It must be. So, over there, in that direction, should be Borek. I hope so. I'm gonna move down here to the tree line. Follow this road. I mean, it should be moving to Borek, but I'm again, I'm not 100% sure about it. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty lost, actually. I haven't been this lost in DayZ. Um, I don't know why, but it, I have a hard time on this map with direction for some reason. Not sure, sure why that is. I normally don't struggle this much with directions. Oh, yeah. Now I know exactly where I am. This small road here, actually, uh, that made sure that I know where I am now. That's good. Well, we got a lot of open fields here. Not a lot of cover, but... Oh, there's a lot of cars up there. That's interesting. I mean, there are, uh, there are loot in these cars, but I don't think it's worth actually picking it up. Staying out in the open here. Feels very open. Anyone with a sniper coming behind me, you know, can pick me off, basically. Well, there's definitely loot in them, if you're really in need of it. I'm not that much in need of it right now, so... I'm pretty good. Oh. I think I see a city sign. Borek. Nice. Well, I don't actually think we're going in there. I think we're just moving past it. Um, I doubt there's going to be anything very good. Uh, I don't actually know what Borek is. It actually looks like a small military... Okay, it is a military facility. Ah. Well, in that case, we might check it out. Mm, I don't know. It looks like some of the buildings are completely damaged and stuff. There's a railroad over here, it seems like. Railroad station or something like that. But it, that's military. Yeah, that's military. It doesn't look like they were opened. So it might be worth looting this area, even though it's probably only tier 2 or something like that. I'm not too familiar with that. I haven't... Actually, the overlay of the map here is uh, not telling me what tier it is, but... It doesn't look like there's anyone home, so I think we're gonna go down there and check it out. We got a... What? Keramic Plate West? It's the first Russian assault body armor with a high area of protection. Using Keramic Plates to defend the user. The vest is efficient as the metal plate carrier, but shatters from gunfire faster. Okay. 
So it's not repairable. Interesting. Yeah, it's probably better than my worn stab vest. But uh, how many kilo is it? Nine. Well, the stab vest is four. That was making me a little bit more... Well, I don't know if I actually like that. I think I might like the stamina a little bit more, but... Yeah, and the stab vest can also have a lot more in terms of uh, frag grenades and stuff, but... Yeah, interesting find... Oh, what is this? That is a scout. The scout is versatile, accurate, and lightweight. Bolt action rifle. Uh, specific also, yeah, I think this... I don't think we have any bullets for it, unfortunately. Um, no. No, we do not. Oh, 5.56. 45mm. Oh, we do. We do have rounds for it. I think we're gonna pick that up. Uh, I actually threw away the, the scope, unfortunately. This area seems looted to me. Every door is open and stuff. Got a breast vest here, and it looks like someone left a smoke grenade. That's, do I want a smoke grenade? Maybe it's useful. Alright. I don't think there is anything else here. Um, I want to move further south here, so... Uh, just looking around for people and stuff, but... I doubt there is going to be anything good in this area. I checked... Uh, quite a few things, quite a few barracks and quite a few things in this area and seems looted. We found a couple of good things, of course, uh, but um, yeah, not the best loot. And the rest seems to be ruins, so um, not a whole lot of loot in this area, but definitely worth going here if you're going south anyway. Alright, so I think I'm trying to aim for an area called Lembork, something like that. But I'm not too sure if this is the right way there. I'm getting myself lost all the time because I'm moving around so much. Is that a magazine? No. Looks like we got a small bunker up here. Been running for a while, but haven't really seen anything. City is way behind us. I wonder what this is. I don't. S oh, we got a. Road and a city over there. Hmm. Just want to see if there's any loot in this bunker here. There's a magazine. What kind of? And we also got a combat jacket. But yeah, we might want that combat jacket actually. We don't have a really. We got a patrol jacket, but it's damaged. What is this? Also damaged. I'll see how it looks and uh, maybe I'll use it. And also the magazine for a MP5. But is, is it the 45k? No, it's not. It's for the... Yeah, but we do have 19 millimeters in it, so I'll definitely pick it up and uh, take the... Um, yeah, take the bullets out because we can use it in the other one. Well, that's not a bad little find. But I actually think that over there is either Kalin or Limborg. But I want to go over there and check it out because I want to know where I am. Bit open here, but hey, it is what it is. No road signs or city signs, so um, it, it's apparently just a very small city, which is uh, making me think that I actually moved in the wrong direction. I think I might be in Sabadisco instead, which is not where I wanted to go. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm at the end of that little small city, and I cannot really tell which direction this is. Where's the sun? It is there. Still coming up. But that should be east. Um, yeah. I really don't know. I really don't know. Ooh, I think I heard gunshots, and it's actually the direction we came from. Um, yeah, over there somewhere. The bunker is up here somewhere, there it is. I'm actually gonna move back again, because I'm not sure which direction I'm going in here. I'm gonna move towards the gunshots, because why not? Seems like a, I don't know if that's a, heli a helicopter crash over there, or what it is. Oh, there's a lot of gunshots coming from over here. And we got a city down there. And it's probably where the gunshots were coming from. It's, uh, it's very open right here. I'm 
unfortunately, but I want to go over there to check out where I am as well. Let's see. Let's see what it says. It's a Limbrook. Limbrook. So we are in Limbrook. Interesting. So we are probably running south, actually. Yeah. Very likely running south. It could be that the other city we were in before, or that small kind of place, it could have been Kalin, but I'm not too sure, just without a city sign. I think this is where the gunshot were coming from. I need to be careful here. Oh, you know what I just figured out? That I can actually put my scope over on the scout. You know, the UMP had it before. Just put it over here. Probably a way better way to do it here, right? There we go. Because while it only have one shot in the chamber, it's probably... It can probably kill someone, especially with a headshot. So, yeah, probably worth doing. I'm also gonna take the um, the silencer here, put it over there. There we go. Oh, you can actually just do that. Ah, I didn't know that. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so now we have a silencer. We have a, well, it's damaged. Actually, can I clean it? Uh, can I do this while it's... Yeah, I can, okay. Let me just clean it up a little bit. I'm kind of worried going into the city. So, unfortunately, I don't think there is a uh, well in the city. And I only have the water that we got from the guy that we killed. I think it's okay to drink it, but I can't be sure. Of actually, it's empty, so we don't have any water. Which is just actually a little bit of a problem. Um, we definitely need to find a way to get water somewhere. Um, do we have charcoal? We do have charcoal, so we could actually just do it somewhere else. It doesn't need to be a well. We do have a... I don't know what it is, maybe a prison or a police station or something in this city. So I do kind of want to check that out because I think that's where the gunshots were coming from. I think it's... Yeah, I'm actually not sure. Here's the road. Yeah, there is a helicopter right there. Interesting. Hmm. I think it's further in. I think it's way further in, actually. I think that's the prison, or military base, or whatever it is. I don't see, see anyone, or hear anyone, so... Oh, I hear someone. Another player. I don't know if they're shooting at me or the other guy. What is that? Helicopter? Crashed. Just move to the main building and see if I can see anything from in there. Thing. 
We definitely know people are in the area. But yeah, this was looted. No really any point to doing this. Unless I'm going to engage one of the other players. Um, I should probably just move in the other direction. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move out. Um, I don't like it here. I think I'm gonna move that direction. Should be south. I'm gonna take this chicken with me. Because I need some bones. Because I'm gonna go fish soon. We also need some water. But for now I just wanna get away from here. I don't like it. We got a server restart in five minutes. That was near the helicopter crash before. Hmm. Maybe we should investigate that instead. But I mean, with the server restart in five minutes, it might be a really bad idea. Let's just see what we can see from here. Nothing. having fun. Oh yeah, there we go. Wonder if I can like zoom in or anything. No, that's talking. Oh yeah, lots of players. But with the server restart in five minutes, it's... I don't think it's actually wise to go over there. I wouldn't even get there before the server restart, would I? <laughs> Looks like a squad. There's a couple of players. <sighs> yeah. Alright. Yeah, there they are. And I think they're playing together. I think there are like two, maybe three play players in that squad. I don't think it would be very wise of me to go there with five minutes to the server stop. Even then, it might not be very smart to do that. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna move south, find a good tree to sit in for the server restart. And just take a small break. Well, I think we'll just lie down and take this tree for the server restart in two minutes. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, we are back in, and uh, so there is uh, rules coming up on the screen here. I've never seen that before. So you are only allowed to raid at certain times. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Don't be a dick. Yeah, that that makes sense, right? That that's the only rule that I'm looking at here. That <laughs> no combat locking. I don't even know what that means. No loot cycling. No idea what that means either. No stream sniping. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Uh, no cheating, obviously. No impersonate streamers or admins, obviously. <laughs> the rest, I, I, yeah, I don't really care about it. Um, I'm not planning on raiding anyway, but fair enough. Okay, so um, it's actually a few hours later for me because I decided to take a small break. But I believe we are moving in this direction and we are looking for either a... Yeah, we're looking for water supplies, basically. That is what we're looking for. Um, we could also cut this chicken up to get a bit of a... Um, well, what I was actually trying to say here was we probably want to go fishing soon enough, but more so we're trying to find some water because our water supply is completely empty. And our food supply is getting empty, so we're probably in need of looking for that. We do have two steaks left, and they both have almost, they're both almost full. But, um, yeah, we could go, I don't know if I actually want these chickens, to be honest. Uh, I'll take them for now, but I might throw them out um, instead of getting some fish. But the bones is what I wanted here, because if we use our knife, we can get, yeah, combine that. We can get an improved hook. And we do have a fishing rod, so uh, yeah, we might go fishing. But first, let's get somewhere where we can actually get some water. Seems to be a castle over there. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should check it out, but I'd rather actually go for the water supply. I believe over there, what we're looking at is a place we probably want to go to very, very soon. But right now, what is that over there? Is that? Nah. And we do have something over there we could go loot up. Um, I'm not sure if it's a military base or something else. But right now, I'm going toward a uh, lake. What's that? Yeah, there it is, actually. It's right down here. Because that lake, we can just... Um, because we got car coil on us, we can... Um, we can make it clean. So I believe what we can do here, I just build up one of them and uh, I believe we can take the car coil and combine them. Or not. Oh no, it's chlorine. It's chlorine tablets. Yeah, combine those and we can purify. So instead of going to a well, we can just purify it. And uh, yeah, that should be helpful for us. I also decided to do a bit of fishing because, well, why not? Um, four worms and two fish. So, I mean, that's not terrible, I suppose. Uh, now I just need to have room for this. There we go. So we have a, a good amount of food and stuff on us as well. So um, probably need to cook it up at some place. Not too sure where that is. Uh, but yeah, we'll find a place. We at least got the food as well now. We might as well go over and check out that military base. Uh, it's, it's not very far from here. We got zombies in there, so hopefully not looted. Alright, we got a new scope. For the MP5. Is it actually is it UMP or whatever it's called? UMP45. Gas grenade? Was that a gas grenade? I think that's the first I've ever seen of a gas grenade. Yeah, it is. Gas smoke grenade. That's, that's a new one to me. And I think that's the last building. So uh, I think we're moving um, south again. I don't really want to go north or east. I just want to keep going south here. Alright, I believe we have a small town here. Yeah, Rastoka. It looks like it's just ruins, but we will approach with a bit of cautious. Well, there is a couple of zombies in here, but it seems to just be ruins. Hmm, might be a little bit military here. Oh, there is a jeep. And it might be a working jeep. I think this might be working. I'm not sure. didn't stop. Alright, let's uh, let's get out. Someone could be in the area. Either that or it's just spawned in right where it is. Oh, what's this? G36? Sounds... A lot bigger than what we have. Magnified optics and a micro red dot on top. Helicopter crash, I think. Hmm, so the bullets are 5.56. I might want this instead of the UMP, but... Do we have any bullets for it? I haven't picked up a whole lot of bullets. Uh, actually, these 45, we don't, we're, we're not using them, so I can just throw them out. I did pick up this. Is that 45? No, it's 5.56. Yeah, we do actually have bullets for this one. Which is kind of interesting. I think it's sharing the same bullets as this one. Yeah. You know what? I think we're going to switch over to uh, to this one instead. It's pristine. So um, I think we're going to take the optics off and everything else here. Unfortunately, we're not using the 45 rounds anymore in that case. Oh, that was actually what it was throwing away? Yeah. Um, but I feel like this might be a way better weapon, so I'll just take it. Don't know if they can have... No, it already have a red dot. And I don't really need anything else but a red dot, because the sniper do have... Yeah, but I feel like it's probably a good idea. But then again, I need a lot more of these 5.56 45mm rounds to make it work, but... Yeah, I think we're doing it anyway. Because we do have bullets for it, so... Uh, 
and it does have a magazine, so it's it's it should be it should be good. I hope. All right, I think we're going out of here again. That was the city. Not not really a whole lot except from a couple of tents. So I'm kind of moving in the direction of a city called Vreshes, I think it's called. But I probably want to find a small house or something where I can cook up a couple of things. Um, of course, we are running out of food soon anyway, so I'll probably find a house somewhere. We got a Blaze 95, I believe that it's, yeah, it's, it's a bigger caliber than the other one we have. Um... And I do believe we have a couple of 30, uh, 308s somewhere. That's 9mm. Yeah. We probably. Um, yeah, we have to do. We are not using 9mm anymore, so I could just throw it away, but I'll just keep it for now. Didn't we have some 380. Oh, oh yeah, we do. So we do actually have bullets for it. I think we're gonna switch it out. I think this one is not as good as the Blaze. Blaze is also pristine. So uh, we're going to take off our equipment and take the other one instead. Hmm, that's a bit odd. Out in the middle of nowhere, military container. I don't even, I'm not 100% sure on where I am right now, so... <laughs> but yeah, that's random. Flashlight? Universal flashlight. Looks like we're getting closer to a city here. Um, I hope it's that small place that I was looking for. Vrshish, or whatever the name is. It might not be a city sign, but it does look like it could be that one. Well, I'm not sure. There is the road. Oh, it looks like military. Hmm. Oh, there is a road sign. Let's see what it says. Oh, that is not it. Otsaka. Oh, we're back where we started. Otsaka is exactly where I didn't want to go because that's where we just were. So, um, hmm, I went a completely wrong way here. But if we uh, follow this road, we are actually getting to where I want to be or close to. But uh, yeah, I lost my bearings in this, uh, this forest somewhere. <laughs> not great. Not great at all. Oh, we're getting to a road. This forest back here, it's it's massive. It's absolutely massive. Yeah, I think it was actually the other way. I, I was running down there, and I don't think that was the right way. I think this road here might lead to the city that I'm looking for. It's not even a city, it's probably just a small place. But yeah, these forests in this area are massive, and you can get turned around so easily. Oh, that was a loud noise. Not sure what that was, but we might go investigate because we're moving in that direction anyway. Got a rangefinder? That's the first I've seen of those. Interesting, it needs a battery. Do I have a battery? Mm, no, didn't pick up a battery. I'll take it anyway, because I want to see how it looks. So, <laughs> I just keep running, man. I just don't find anything. Um, I'm following this dirt road, but I don't know where it's leading. I am so confused about where I am. Hopefully, not back at Ratsoka again, because that would be terrible. Um, but, yeah, I'm just following this, and it's still going in this kind of that direction where the, I don't know, that loud, loud thing was, it's probably an air crash or something like that, uh, an airplane or something like crashed down. But so far I am not seeing anything. Oh, we got, okay, so it's actually turning here. Hmm. But yeah, I keep running and running and running and running, not finding anything. These forests are just massive. You, I mean, of course, if you play the game, you know how big they are, but it's, it's it's actually insane how big they are, and you can just keep running for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, without seeing a single thing except from dirt roads. Oh, we heard some gunshots dead ahead. But it's quite far away. Well, uh, there are some signs here, but I doubt they are gonna say where I am. 
we do have a normal row here as well. Military area, okay. Oh, we have a sign down here. Let's look at that. Maybe I can figure out where we are from that. It says Dol Dolnik in that direction. Hmm. Alright. Wow, okay, so Dolnik is in the very, very, very end of this map. It's like the southernmost kind of thing you can actually get to. And there is what? Only one kilometer there? there? Um, it does say something down here. Let's move a little bit closer so we can see, because I think there is a city sign as well. Five kilometers, okay. Oh, look at that! That's actually the city I was looking for. Huh. I got here in the end. I got here in the end. <laughs> but uh, yeah, funny enough, I'm coming in from the side. The opposite side of what I actually thought I would come in from. So that air, th that direction, okay. I might go down there. I might go down in that direction, but I want to check out this first. But uh, shish, yeah, that, that, that was the city I was looking for, but I, I apparently went way too far over in the forest because I thought I would come in from the other side. The opposite <laughs> side, directly. That's kind of funky. Oh, it's all flat. That's just... I see some flickering, but I don't know if that flickering is... That's definitely a flag over there. So that's a part of a base, you can see it there. That's, the, that's well right there. Hmm. That's the, actually the first base I've seen today. That's interesting. So there might be dudes in the area. I was actually looking for a place to cook, but uh, I guess we're not gonna cook anything here. That would be a little bit <laughs> dangerous to do, I would say, with a base right next to it. Alright. So I find um, I did find just outside this city, this small city here. I just I did I did find a house with a pretty good stove here. I think we're gonna cook up things, and then I think after that we are moving toward that city all the way down on the southeastern kind of part of the uh, map. Feel like that's a good idea. So uh, yeah, but we need to we need to cook things up here because we are running out of food anyway. We do have water. We have plenty of water, but we need the food. Alright, we got everything we need now. We got all the chickens and stuff. I think we can move out of here, but it seems like... Ooh, I got, I got too hot. Way too hot. Put it out, put it out. Oh god. Oh man. I put it all in my field jacket. That was way too hot. <laughs> Dang. Alright, there we go. Just putting it into my... Um Trigger back instead, and that should be working. Okay, let's get out of here. We're gonna follow this dirt road, and we're gonna move five kilometers down south. Well, maybe not, but at least we're moving in that direction. We do have a bunker here, it seems. Let's just check it out quickly. Mm -hmm. There's a field jacket, which is better than the one we have. I think I'm gonna take that. I did actually manage to find a compass that wasn't completely broken. Actually, two of them. I also have one here. Let's check it out. Hmm. Not sure which one I like the most. But, uh, so that, that is not true. Is north really in that direction? What? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well anyway. Cool to check it out. Wow, that was a loud noise. I believe over in this direction here, that should be a shooting range or something maybe. I could be completely wrong, it might be further back. You know what, I think I'm just gonna move with the road here. 
have a feeling uh, we actually got to a real road, and I believe I know exactly which one it is right there. I think we're just moving in that in that direction. Well, I think I took a wrong turn, but according to the compass, I am going south. So. Oh, bang! We got another road. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like seeing another road here. Wait, am I going north? No. Ooh, I see smoke over there. You see that? I wonder what that is. Uh, oh, I need to click out. There we go. Is that a player? <laughs> Zombies, maybe? I have no idea what that is. It looks like zombies. Kind of want to go check it out. I think we are. I think we're going to check that out. Oh, there it is. Right in front of us. I didn't see it before now. Got one on me. What the hell is this? It is someone camping here. But... Yeah, someone's backpack with just a couple of random things. It's... <laughs> should probably not be around, but... I'm just gonna take a couple of things and then I'm gonna go out of here. Hunter backpack, 63. It's, it's as good as this one, so I'm not gonna move him around. Um, interesting. I wonder if there is anyone nearby. I don't know, but I'm gonna move out. It looks like we got some kind of poison over there. I don't really want to move too close to it. But we don't have any gas mask or anything, but... Yeah. Still, I have no idea where I am, except from just hopefully moving south. <laughs> just in the middle of a forest. Well, we can see the edge of the map now, so... Well, we're getting down there. I wonder where this road is going. Probably to nowhere. <laughs> uh, it's probably leading somewhere, but I just don't know what's down here. But yeah, um, I feel like I feel like the northern part of this map, Livorna, way too many fields. There are just way, way too many fields, open areas. Where here in the southern part, also taking I'm taking a look at it uh, on the uh, I Survive map. Almost the entire south southern map is just forest. It and I, it's like it's, yeah. I mean, I don't know how to feel about that. Um, I'm not. I'm not too sure how I feel about Livorna as a as a whole. I think. Um, I think. I think the forest and the fields should be have spread out a little bit more. We do have some buildings down here. It seems something. Yeah, it just feels like these forests are just way too big. There's just nothing for miles after miles after miles of miles of running. Just nothing. It's just, uh, it's way too extensive. 
It, it, it feels like this map is way bigger than the other one, but that's not true. It's just because there is just so much forest. Yeah, we have a small house, and that's the end of the road, it seems. I doubt there's gonna be anything here. We have a zombie over there just walking about. But I, the same, in, in the same way, it didn't feel like the loot was any better the further south I got. So that's also a little bit interesting. Um, but I still have no idea where I am. I can't find it on the map. There's just too much forest and too, too little things to actually have an indication of where I am. I just know that I'm going south. That's basically it. Alright, I think I'm gonna, because the map is ending right out there, I think. Yeah, not far out there. There it is. Um, so I'm kind of moving towards... I think it's like a more eastern direction here. Uh, because then I will probably at some point get over to the town called Dolnik, which is actually the one I wanted to find. So uh, that's the southern border right there of the map. So I'm moving over to the east to find that city we were looking for. Oh! I think we found it. I think we have found it. That might be Dolnik. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. Can't really tell from here, but I don't think there is anything else out here. Got a couple of houses here and there, but let's go out and find out what there's down here. Hmm, it seems further away than it was. I think we still need to run quite a bit here. I think that over there is part of the city, but it's only the start of it. I think a little bit further along here, we will be able to see the city soon enough. Let's see. Oh, I can handle the trees. It might be down there. Oh no, it's down. It's over there. Yeah, over there. There is Dolnik. So, the route I decided to go by here was actually going all the way to the southern part of Dolnik. Because then I come in from the southern part, and if there is anyone in there, in the city, they will definitely not expect me to come in from this side, that's for sure. And I do believe there is both a hospital, a police station and stuff in there, so um, quite a lot to loot, probably. I think I see the hospital, it's right there. And I knew it was down here, at the south end of the city. So let's check it out. It seems to be part of a military base as well, interestingly enough. There is zombies around, so we might have it for ourselves. We'll see. Hmm. To me it seems looted. So, um, I mean, if this is uh, like the end of the road, if you know what I mean, in terms of tier, there is not any loot. So, uh, we have to look out for people down here, I think. Look at that, just out in the middle there. But there are zombies, as you can hear. So I think this whole place is like a military facility, um, or complex. So I think what we're moving into what here is just kind of a police station with military stuff as well. Got a container. And also, yeah, I think people have been here recently. I have a feeling there might be people around as well. We'll see. A plate carrier. I think we're gonna take that. A new backpack. Tactical backpack. I think it looks a little bit better than the other one. So I'll take it. I think... Um, Looking at the loot and a, stubble, uh, a couple of things that I just saw, it, it feels like someone was here not that long ago, like I was saying. So, uh, yeah. Just uh, a couple of random things, but nothing really big. But it's a big place, so, uh, yeah. Oh, we definitely got zombies over there. Look at this place, man. So many rooms. There's a well right here. Not that I'm in need of it, but... 
Well, I do actually have one flask that is empty, so I could fill that one up. Wow, a field backpack. 90 kilo. That it can hold 90 and only is two. It only. Only two kilo? Wow, that's incredible. Definitely gonna pick that one. It is absolutely massive, but uh, might also be easier to see us, but. I mean, it is 10 kilo lighter than the other one, so obviously gonna go for that one. Tactical helmet, also way better than what we have. So it's not because there is no loot here, it's just because it has been looted, I'm pretty sure about it, at least. We also have so much food now that we don't need any more, basically. Ooh, another big boom. Could probably go investigate, but... I don't really want to leave this place until I have looted most of it, because it seems rather good loot. When I do find something, it's pretty good. Well, no, uh, I got I got three smoke grenades. <laughs> and one gas grenade. Holy shit. What the hell? What? He was just there all of a sudden, I couldn't hear him. Oh my god. That is the first time I did not hear someone sneak up on me. And he, why didn't he shoot me right away? So that is how it ends. That is how it ends our life. Wow. But yeah, first time I I did not hear him. But maybe it was because I was running around. Or maybe he didn't have any boots on. Maybe I can see that in the edit. Maybe he didn't. If he took his boots off, he might be able to sneak up on us. I think he was actually walking around. But I still don't understand why he didn't shoot me straight away. Maybe he got shocked as well. I don't know. I was definitely... I was like, what is going on here? What is... And, and then I pushed the wrong button to try and get my weapon out. Just, what? How could I not hear him? He was so close to me. That was okay. Well, that that is uh, that is probably how our life is gonna end. Quite a few times, just bumping into someone inside the city and just dying without hearing them. I mean, at least we saw him, but I didn't even get my gun out. I clicked the wrong thing. I think I had my knife out for some reason. Anyway, yeah, that's that's how that's how that run is coming to an end. Um, the journey to uh, what is it called? The city, Dunik. The journey to Dunik. <laughs> oh, that was unfortunate. We haven't seen a player for such a long time, and then all of a sudden, didn't even hear him. Just pop out of nowhere. Pop. Oh, hello. <laughs> and then we die. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, even with it being a. I wouldn't say it was the most interesting run in the world, but at least we had one kill. So, uh, yeah, at least we have that. Anyway, hope to see you around next time.